all right what's up everybody welcome to a brand new series on the channel vampire or vampire my name is raven from the 12 dreams for the red queen under crown of stone eight voracious beasts born from eight restless nights four nails piercing the flesh of the sinner one prayer for the summoned called by this song Tis perhaps the countdown to oblivion for the once proud city of London. Tis perchance her inhabitants' last dance alone to face death and pestilence. Confronted by the eerie and unknown, mortals became desperate for answers. A flock's flight makes for an omen, the falling of a star, a dire presage. Turning to priests for interpretation when there was no reason to be found. When religion failed, men turned to science. I saw them build such vain cities, crafting machines made for endless war. New questions flourished as old answers withered. What is darkness but lurking sun? What is war but enslaved stone? What is glass but tortured sand? What is song but a call to arms? What is hate but jilted love? What is life but death? Pending. Death. Since the apple was plucked from the sacred tree, mortality was believed to be God's punishment. A righteous snare to keep mankind from ascending to the stars. They were all so wrong. Death is not a wicked thing, nor some holy retribution. A true punishment would be to never know its sweet kiss. Awaken from the harshness and be born once more. Look at all those bodies. Just gonna follow this blood trail. You run. Mary! Oh, no! Mary! Uh, 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 hold on! Please! 
please, hold on. Oh, God. Oh, no. Mary. Mary. No. 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 Let me explain. These patrols are after me. No, Run. no, don't shoot. This is a nightmare. But yet I it feels so real. Go where? This can't be happening. There's one of those vermin. No, please no. stop. I mean you no harm. What's going on? Oh, Mary. What have I done? What's Killed all this sister. about? Shit, where the gun? Tricky bastards. Now I can defend myself. Kill that thing! Shit, where the gun? Oh. Who are you? Stay back! But you left me no choice. Who are you, stupid beast? Need a gun, that's what we need. They have guns. We just got a knife. I mean you no harm. I, I need help. Die, you fucking leech. Please, listen to me. I can't make any sense of this. Shut up, beast! Who are you? What is this all about? Ah! What in God's sake? I'll do the rest uh, of the job. Uh, uh, just, just leave me. Uh, 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 uh. Stay out of the sun. <clears throat> the sun. It feels like it's burning me to the bone. I need to find somewhere to hide. Let me go! I need to find shelter! Anybody there? What is this place? The 
place seems abandoned. I should be safe enough here. Whoever did this to us, I will find them. Leeches do not fear the sun or fire, and they do not burst into flames or ashes when they are caught under rays of daylight. But it hurts them good, really good. I have personally chained a vampire to a tree to see what would happen when the sun rises. Its skin blackened in a few minutes, as if it was burning from the inside. Its eyes and flesh melted, and I saw its unholy bones move and squeal as the beast tried to escape all day long. In the end, only a des desiccated corpse remained, which started to slowly regenerate when the sun disappeared behind the horizon. I cut its head off to finally destroy it, and when I tried the same test with fire, the bloody leech never came back from the ashes. Fire is our weapon of choice, brothers. To burn the beast is the best way to kill it for good. From Know Your Enemies by Carl Eldritch, Prywin Leader. Prewin or Prywin, I guess they're vampire hunters. Huge. So this is more like an RPG. Don't know if I'm gonna be doing much side missions. This is no Skyrim. All right. Stuff like this, I try to just stick to the story. But we'll see. I can almost feel the sun's rays like a physical weight pressing against the wood. I can almost feel the sun's rays like a physical weight pressing against the wood. This one's dressed up fancy. Let's run through his pockets. Pete in the dead's pockets? Are you serious? I've still a rent to pay. He's got no more responsibilities. What's this? Go watch. Beautiful it is. We fancy it and share the takings. <laughs> I suppose we are undertakers. <laughs> now, give him a knee. With that being said, I don't, this game it doesn't have the game doesn't have to be scavenging for you to enjoy it. It's just, yeah. Probably just go through the story. 
shillings. much to accomplish. I still have so much left that needs doing. lost. We need to leave. And now! No. There's time. I can save him. That's the enemy coming! The orders are to evacuate the hospital! <sighs> Done. He'll live. And now what? We fight. Killing is a hell of a lot easier than healing. No, it never got easy. A reliable service pistol used by British troops as their standard side on, sidearm. Fifteenth October, bad sleep. Becky coughed all night, and the fever made her delirious. I heard a loud noise in the morning. It's a big machine some men brought by the banks to dig a big hole in the ground. It was some sort of mechanical shovel. Maybe I should go there and ask for some work. Becky needs medicine. I talked to the men with the mechanical shovel. They told me they are digging mass graves all around London. Safety measures, apparently. Is there a new epidemic? Is the flu coming back? They had no work for me. Becky slept a little last night. The foundry has been closed and there are no more jobs nearby. I went to London to find some groceries and drugs. No trains. It took me the whole day to cross the Thames and come back. Becky seemed better. I made soup she ate. I found no drugs, only a few syringes and some sleeping pills on the black market. We have no money left. Maybe I could go the Pembroke Hospital tomorrow. Go, yeah. He meant go to the Pembroke Hospital. <laughs> uh, but it's so far, and I fear leaving my wife for so long. Becky threw up the meal a few hours after she ate. She is so frail now, it makes me cry. She says she hears voices outside at night. She says she wants to eat meat where would i find meat tomorrow i'll barricade the house to protect us from looters ah oh. his wife is who's downstairs and i think she turned it looked like she had fangs oh wait what? shoot i wouldn't even finish this makes no sense none of it no sense at all It's a nightmare. That's it. <sighs> so be it. From 
here to eternity. This is absolute madness. I've lost touch with the real. Madness it is. As mad as the moon. Contains blinding sunlight into a glowing flesh. How do beds allow you to evolve and rest? Spin a spin. Okay. Auto. F auto what? Drain your own blood to heal normal and aggra aggravated damage instantly. Oh, this is definitely an RPG. <laughs> Strange strike that will cut through all living creatures in front of you. Claws. As natural predators, vampires have received some gifts from Mother Nature, like claws instead of fingernails. These natural weapons can easily cut through tissue and are very useful for piercing a prey's arteries. If you use your claws, you will see humans differently, like soft and tender meat. I must find him to understand. I was here again. I am in London now, somewhere near the East End docks. I suppose. I don't know this part of town. All I know is all I know is this. Someone is killing people here, murdering them, butchering them, drinking their blood, making them like him? Is this what happened to me? My poor Mary. My poor sister. I must follow the blood trail, find answers, maybe. I should start by gathering information about what happened to this place while I was awake. Then I will find who did this to me, who made me what I am now. The 
Men with the mechanical shovel have stopped digging the mass grave. I heard shots last night as if they were attacked. Now, there are only a few boats throwing bodies day and night into the giant hole. The smell is terrible. We should have left this house a week ago. But Becky, she refuses to leave. She'd rather die, she said with a nasty smile. Why is she torturing me so? Becky, just attack me. She jumped on me from the stairs and tried to bite me. I had to smack her, but she smacked me back. I went upstairs and locked myself in the bedroom. Now I can hear her crying and mumbling downstairs. I retrieved the gun I hid in the ceiling since the war to protect the house. Now I'm ready to use it to protect myself from my own wife. I, c I could not sleep at all. Becky spent the whole night scratching at the door, asking for my help, begging me to let her in, but I was too afraid to open it. I'm just waiting for her to die now. It will not be long. I pray to God it will end soon. I was so hungry. I tried to go downstairs this morning. Becky was sitting in the armchair by the chimney. She was panting like a dog, looking at me without moving. just following me around the room with her eyes. I pointed the gun at her sore face, but she did not react. I could not pull the trigger. I went back to my room. The house is silent, like a tomb. No more noises. Becky is dead now. Forgive me, my love. I was unable to save you. I'll be with you soon enough. What I have become... to leave now. Stake. Offhand weapons can be used by pressing triangle. They have attacks with special effects and consume stamina. It's locked. It's locked, all right. I'm still in Southwark. I must reach the West End. Over there! there. There's one of them vermin! and skills. The strength. The strength I never knew I had. He's dead, all right. Every fiber of my being is a fire. 
Learning the limits of my body. Got that right. Oh, I can, I, we can get banned. Stable. If there's a rating, then if it drops down, I guess we can get banned from that district, or it'll be like attack on site. But it seems like it's already attack on site since they know we're like a, a vampire. Like a vampire, no, we are one. Your king and country need you. Join the British ranks and help the brave lads at the front. My poor sister. If only I had controlled my need for blood. Mary, someone will pay for what happened to you. For what happened to us. This is despicable. I can't believe I'm doing this. It's locked. The dizziness from the jump. I can now control it. It's locked, all right. What will London have to say to me? I have so many questions unanswered. The man has been drained of all blood, but I can still smell the scent of it. I follow the scent's trail. Perhaps it will lead me to my assailant. Fresh blood. The smell is so strong. There is no one in sight. Where has everyone gone?
Sepsis. trigger parts. We need three. Lead plate. We still can't upgrade. Britons working together, skilled workers in engineering and kindred trades enroll the day as war munitions volunteers support the men at the front with the plentiful supply of munitions. You are not suffering wages, get into the factory line and feed the firing line. At last. A little well, life. It's a good thing you cannot see me now, Mum. Good evening, sir. I wondered if I could ask for your help. Wow, you look like you need a drink. Yes. I apologize for my outfit. It's been... It's been a long night. Been there, seen that. Don't worry, things can only get worse. <laughs> What's going on around here? It's like everybody is hiding. You must be new here. Have you not heard about the murders? Everybody fears the return of the sewer dog. You make it sound like it's a fairy tale. People will always believe in monsters. It's easier than accepting their own darkness. We can all be monsters. Who is this sewer dog? It's a local bogeyman convenient answer for every crime that happened for decades. You murdered someone, blamed a sewer dog, eh? Has anybody entered the bar recently? Can't say. Sorry. I spent the night making love to that gorgeous bowl, see? This is important, sir. Are you sure no one has come in here in the last few hours? I don't know and I don't care. This is a free country. People still have the right to come and go, don't they? I'll leave you to your bottle then. I should just run as far away from this place as I can. My God, sir, you look like Jonah's whale. Just spat you out of hell. Can I get you a drink? No, thank you. I'm not, not thirsty. Well, grab a chair and get some rest. This is gonna be another long night. Why is it going to be a long night? You must be new around here. Don't you know about the murders? Oh my God, it's the same thing. Do the police have any leads on a suspect? Ah, even before the outbreak, coppers never came round here. 
We're on our own. People die in these parts all the time, and no one cares. Tell me more about these murders. Every morning for the last few weeks, bodies have been found. And those poor sods didn't die of flu. Where am I? Where is this place? You're at my bar, sir, the turquoise turtle. The last ray of light in this dangerous part of town. So you're open all night? Yep. Figured people might need a place to rest in these dark times. Aren't you scared? Scared of what? All the bad shit happens out on the foggy streets. <laughs> and I never go outside. I'm looking for someone who might have passed through here recently. Wondered if you might help. It's been quiet tonight. The only other person I've seen went straight up to his room. <laughs> Thought it was kind of rude, actually. You mean he's still here? Well, yeah. He paid for the entire week. Is that right? How long has he been here? He rented the room a few days ago and didn't say when he'd leave. Who is this man? What does he look like? Well, like a gentleman, I guess. Well-dressed, quite polite. A professor or something fancy like that. Always writing, reading notes. I need to meet this man. I have questions. Just climb the stairs and knock on the first door. I heard him open his window, so I guess he's still awake. And, sir, uh, yes? no funny business, you hear me? This is a respectable establishment. Hello, sir. Are you all right? Is there any way I can help you? I don't know. Maybe you could just talk to me. Maybe you prefer to speak with Tom, then. He's more agreeable talking to strangers. What's going on around here? Where is everyone? Too many dead, sir. First the epidemic, and now all these terrible murders. What have you heard about the epidemic? There's a Spanish flu. Yeah. Killed so many last summer. Thought we'd seen the last of it. Dozens dying every week. Are the authorities doing anything? Nothing. There are so many quarantine zones in London now. It's gotten really hard to travel across town. The murders. What can you say about them? Bodies found in the streets every morning. Drained of blood. It's just horrible. Some say the sewer dog is back. The sewer dog? What's that? No one knows. People have always disappeared around these parts. The ancients say it's the sewer dog coming out to feed. But now he's killing in the streets. I just want to talk. I didn't mean to scare you. I'm not afraid, sir. It's just I've other customers to take care of. I only see one customer. Oh. Well, yeah, of course. I mean, I best check on them. I'll leave then. Thank you. It's a good thing you cannot see me now, Mum. This is no place for you. Prewen has several patrols roaming the area. They do not pursue me. But they're looking for vampires, and they're most efficient. They'll not relent until the killer has been identified. I have a common objective, but I require... Shh. I think someone is eavesdropping. Are you certain? You might as well come in, whoever you are. Slowly, vampire. <coughs> Who are you? I, I mean you no harm. Say it, the vampire. Present yourself! You're just talking to one. I... I need... a word. Yeah. With... anyone. Mm. 
Well, that's something I can do for you. And... Who might you be? Tell me, who are you? First, tell me what you want. Then I may oh, tell smart. you. Oh, <laughs> smart. That's none of your concern. Sir, you have entered my room in the middle of the night, pale as a corpse and shaking like a tree. So please, indulge me. Something, someone, is molesting people. In fact, killing them. Biting them. The calling card of a vampire. Like you. <laughs> like you. I've been hunted down in the streets and attacked. I'm a victim here, too. I... I believe you. Then if you are not a vampire, who or what are you? Dr. Edgar Swansea of the Brotherhood of St. Paul. I'm performing an independent investigation here in an attempt to understand precisely what is going on. Okay, Dr. Edgar Swansea. What is this brotherhood? And what exactly is this brotherhood? Sir, if the name is not familiar to you, then we shall discuss it another time. Huh. I heard another voice, that of a woman. Who were you talking to? Ridiculous. I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, he's hiding it. Something tells me not to trust you. Then the feeling is mutual. <laughs> this guy's smart, man. What have you uncovered concerning the murders? It started a few nights ago. Rumors of violent murders. The docks have always been, shall we say, somewhat unsavory. But this is different. How different? A vampire is at work here. Famished. Reckless. It must be brought to ground, and quickly. Then help me find the culprit. I may, if you'll first tell me why you opened this door. I followed a trail, the scent of blood from a recent victim. It led me here. You thought I was your aggressor. That explains a great deal. We are both chasing the same shadow. A shadow, indeed. Yet I heard his voice in my head. It was a moment I believed I was mad. You should let me handle this affair. You've no idea what you're up against. No. I will find the monster. He is mine. How will you do any better than I? But then let me ask you this. What are your intentions if you find the killer? I will at last have the answers to my questions. Hmm. Then I can only wish you good hunting. And pray we shall meet again. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to stop it here for today. Thanks for watching. My name is Raven from the Sky. If you enjoyed the episode, drop a like and subscribe to the channel and see if grow. Take care, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.